Hey everyone, we're at the Gran Turismo Cafe. I've pulled up in the Kirith Commuter Racing Team bus. All the boys and girls in the back. We're having some drinks in the cafe, chatting to Luca and the other people there. But I just wanted to let you know my thoughts on the update 1.31 that came out for Gran Turismo 7. Because I think what they've done here, I think needs to be appreciated. Gran Turismo 7 did the usual thing of adding cars for free, which we take for granted, including this absolutely beastly Alphard executive lounge. It's a moving lounge. The Audi RS DTM car, which is a relatively recent car, which we will be asking for. Other cars as well, some other Porsches as well, for free. They also added some layouts to the to the Nurburgring, for free. And they also added some cafe menus and events, for free. And they also, which I don't think is getting the credit it deserves. Not only did they add 120 FPS into Gran Turismo 7 for free, they also gave us some flexibility on how to do it. So we can do it in the absolute frame rate optimization mode, which really strips down the graphics, but I think plays it at pretty much locked 120 FPS. Or you can go with 120 F FPS in like the graphical mode, which still gets you about 110 FPS. And they added variable refresh rate as well. So like G-Sync or Adaptive Sync, you have a really smooth experience. And they did all that for free. And previously, they'd added gra they'd added PSVR 2 for free, which I'm using now. Gran Turismo 7 is, I think, head and shoulders, the best racing game there's ever been. Gran Turismo 7 is the best racing game there's ever been. You get all of that for a one-time purchase. You get a lot of the features on a PS4. A PS4 is what, like nine years old now? That hardware? And you can still play Gran Turismo 7 and it's cross-play. And the eSports is cross-play as well. Let me know in the comments, by the way. I want to hear your ranking right now for Gran Turismo 7. We've gone through the journey of the original difficult physics, the heavy microtransactions, the lack of events, the confusing stuff about sport mode with tuning or not tuning. We've gone through all of that journey and we are where we are now. We can enjoy ourselves like everyone's doing in the cafe, taking a moment here. How would you rate Gran Turismo 7? I just think the game is so good. I don't see how Forza can compete. Forza 7 was a mess of a game. The hopper multiplayer system was a mess. The kind of vibe it had was just confusing. But you can't even buy the game now. It's been delisted. I don't think there's a Forza Motorsport game you can actually buy right now, which is pretty crazy. And Gran Turismo 7 has just dominated it. it, it the, the new physics now are, are better. So you kind of have like an almost like an ACC like level experience of Gran Turismo 7. Maybe they'll give us more transparency about tire temperatures, pressures. We know they have this kind of stuff in the background. iRacing hasn't got wet weather yet. And you have to pay a subscription. And every time they launch a car, you have to pay for it. Not like Gran Turismo 7. Let's not even get into our fact to Automobilista and all that kind of stuff. Not as accessible. Project Cars is dead. You know, Need for Speed is really arcadey these days. I mean, Gran Turismo 7, Forza Horizon is a fun game. I think for the Forza series is now more at home in Horizon than Motorsport, I have to say. I don't see how anyone can compete with Gran Turismo 7. I think they've had the best year of post-launch content of any game that I know. I feel like the game has just got stronger. And I, on this channel, I've made so many videos. Every single update. That's 31 updates. I've made videos. I've got up early on the morning of the update to review it. Let you let you guys and girls know. And I always have people in the comments saying, I'm deleting GT7. This is a rubbish game. Blah, blah, blah. I feel like there's people, and you might be watching, some of you. I don't feel like you do that. I feel like you want to vent, and that's absolutely fine. But if there are people that deleted the game because they weren't happy about some aspect... I just feel like you've absolutely missed out because the game is so good. Look at our team bus. Look how stanced it is. How good it is. This game is ridiculous. This video is just a... Tr I've been pretty hard on Gran Turismo 7 a lot as well. I was really hard on the grinding. You know, I don't think anyone else spoke about the grinding and I got some hot water for the grinding. I said, I don't think Gran Turismo 7 should make it that you have to grind the same race for credits. I don't think that's a good enjoyable thing to do i don't think that respects people's time i don't think that it puts pressure on the people that grind to really enjoy what they're grinding for 
I don't like how the McLaren F1 is about £200 if you want to buy it. But, you know, I've made a lot of criticisms, but I have to stand back here, put my hands up and say, Gran Turismo 7, and also it's the heartbeat of the Kirith community on Discord, two and a half thousand people, amazing liveries like you see here, leagued, people having fun, people getting into driving, I'm doing driver coaching again. By the way, let me know if you want to have some driver coaching because that program is up and running. But it's just... It says grand. I said it right at the beginning. You're if you're a fan of my videos, you've been watching for many years now. You'll know when the G7 trailer came out and I reviewed it. I said, Gran Turismo 7 has a soul. Forza doesn't have a soul. I Racing doesn't have a soul. R Factor 2 definitely doesn't have a soul. Gran Turismo 7 has a soul, and they do some weird stuff. You know, the fact they've rendered this whole cafe. Like why? You know. This isn't racing, but they love car culture and car stuff. So let me know what you think in the comments. How would you rate Gran Turismo 7 now? I think it's the best racing game on the planet. I'm prepared to take the heat that comes with that. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're liked. And I'll see you in the next video.